Welcome! This video is about the changes that happen to boys and girls during puberty. So, let's have a look at some of those now. One of the things boys and girls will both notice when they start puberty are changes in height, sometimes called growth spurts. These are rapid changes in height. Although boys may become more muscular with wider shoulders and girl, girls more curvy, both boys and girls will experience rapid um, periods of growth. And these can happen between the late ages of 11 to 16. Generally, the, this happens to girls sooner than boys. They start puberty sooner, but boys will soon catch up. Let's have a look. What else happens to boys and girls? Um, increased smell in the areas where you tend to grow pubic hair, so the underarms and around the groin. Why is this? Well, the chemicals that are produced uh, in your blood and that come out through your skin during puberty do attract uh, microorganisms that can cause an increase in smell. These microorganisms like to feed on the chemicals and if you don't wash regularly um, they can grow on the skin and cause an increase in smell. This is why we have things like deodorant to spray on our underarms and make that smell go away. Or mask it, cover it up with something else that smells better. Another change that can happen unfortunately to both boys and girls is an increase in spots and a severe form of this is what's called acne and again it's those chemicals that your bodies are producing during puberty um, that can affect the skin in this way and cause an increase in the number of spots acne is spelt like that it's not very nice but you can take a medication that can prevent it or make it seem much better uh, one thing we did mention this is an image of it um, both boys and girls will see growth of pubic hair during puberty. This is a particular type of hair that grows on the underarms and round the uh, reproductive organs, so the penis and testicles in boys and the vagina in girls. And that's a clear sign that a young person has started puberty, the growth of pubic hair. Okay, finally, quite an important one. Those chemicals, the sex hormones that we were talking about before, um, they can also cause emotional changes in both boys and girls. Mood swings, happiness, sadness, um, and that's all part of growing up. It's perfectly normal. It's actually to help you become more independent as a person. So, you these emotional changes will cause you to become less reliant on your parents and more reliant on yourself which is important uh, as you get older and being able to look after yourself and become more independent. Those, go, uh, those chemicals, those emotional changes can also lead to you becoming more attracted to the opposite sex which is very important because the whole point of puberty is getting your body ready in order to reproduce so it's quite important that you at some point become attracted to members of the opposite sex so you feel a desire to reproduce and carry on the human species okay so that's all the changes that happen to both boys and girls if you'd like to turn to your worksheet now onto the page that specifies changes to boys and girls have a go at the questions there thank you for watching